Did you know that Eleanor Roosevelt once hosted a show called Prospects of Mankind on WGVH? Welcome to WGVH's The Rewind, where each week we explore the public media archives where history is preserved, online and in the vault. I'm not gonna lie, the idea of Eleanor Roosevelt hosting a talk show is pretty cool. If you could pick an iconic historical figure to host a show, who would it be? Mine would be Benjamin Franklin. Let us know your answer in the comments or on Twitter with the hashtag WGBH Rewind. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, though the partition in the German capital was hotly contested for decades before its fall. In the early 60s, as the Cold War was reaching a boiling point, Berlin came to symbolize the conflict between the United States and Russia. In this clip, we'll hear Eleanor Roosevelt and Henry Kissinger discuss the nuclear arms race and how it would affect Germany. Now to continue our discussion of the important questions which Secretary Rusk has introduced, we have with us a group of distinguished gentlemen of varying points of view. I believe that the build up of atomic weapons as we do it is absolutely necessary, cannot be avoided, but we do it so that the Russians know if they produce a total destruction in the West with atomic weapons, then we can equally produce a total destruction in the East. But we shouldn't use them except one situation, namely the situation that they themselves use them first. If they use them, then of course this means mankind has had this moment of providence in which it destroys itself. And then all human possibilities are gone. Well, now I think there must be some answers to that. How about uh, you, Professor Kissinger, or you, Mr. Rest? Well, I certainly disagree with that point of view in this sense. If you take the premise of Professor Tillich that we were at that position uh, then I think we could argue it uh, back and forth, whether this was right and ethical or whether it was not. But the question I would like to put to Professor Tillich is that at this point in the crisis, if this nation took the position which Dr. Tillich has just defined, is it not almost inevitable that the Russians, knowing that that was our position, could take over the whole of Europe without any action on our part. It seems to me, to the cases that are likely to arise, and the situation which you described uh, differs between Berlin and the rest of Europe only in the amount of time it would take the Soviet Union to occupy either area. Uh, it is the general consensus of people who are concerned with strategic questions that a purely conventional defense of Europe against the forces which the Soviets could now bring against it uh, is not possible for any extended period of time. And if we commit ourselves in advance never to use nuclear weapons in such circumstances, we are in effect not only dooming ourselves to losing Europe in case of an attack, I would even suggest that we are encouraging an attack we will give the Soviets no other option except to attack. We've come to know decisions here today. We just know more about the problem than we did before. And I thank you all for being with us. And I'm very grateful for your participation. Thank you, Mrs. Ryan. Can't get enough Eleanor? Other episodes of Prospects of Mankind are available for viewing at the American Archive of Public Broadcasting at AmericanArchive.org. Let us know what you find in the comments or on Twitter with the hashtag WGBHRewind. Thanks again for unwinding with the Rewind, and we'll see you next week in the archives.